As someone who has lived through the white heat of a battle, it gives me enormous privilege to be here today to remember those who gave their lives a hundred years ago in the Battle of the Somme. And also to be here at the Peel Hall, Salford University, a beautiful building where a concert has been taking place to remember those who lost their lives from Salford and from the wider Greater Manchester area. Part of our remit is also to run ensembles across the city and run those represented here by some members of our concert band. They're going to play a programme of music that uh, stretches the generations, really. What does this mean to you? Uh, well, my great granddad fought in World War One. So it's sort of nice to be able to commemorate something that's sort of bigger and what's aided our future really as young adults. So. Yeah, did he, he died in World War One? Uh, he got shot and then he died from the cancer that infected him after World War One. Well, it's one of the worst bloodsheds in World War One that happened at the Somme. It, so well, with the Salford Pals as well, that was obviously very close to here mm. at the Lads Club. So and it's good to preserve the history so people in the future knows how their future's been fought and how we kept it away from people trying to intrude and disrupt our lifestyle. Um, so Professor Davis Moon approached me um, in my role at MAPAS to um, sort of coordinate three high schools that we thought might like to be involved in the project. Um, to sort of get the heads of music together to discuss what um, what the plan was and also for the final concert to have our concert band uh, perform alongside the schools that are performing their pieces. Obviously a lot of people gave their lives um, and, and fought for us, for our country um, and it's important that that's never forgotten. I think it's really important we remember that and especially I think it's important that the youth are celebrating it because a lot of the people that went to fight were not much older than the children about to perform, mm -hmm. um, which is quite striking when you see how young they are now and the, the way the culture has changed. We do see them as children, whereas then they were given a lot of adult responsibility. Um, so I think it's important to remember that. This is Andy Riley, Keys News, Peel Hall, Salford.